Hello, this is Jeff with Final Boss. We are going to be making tortillas de harina. I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to move this actually over here because this is where I'm going to be doing the dough. So get excited. This will be like the zoomed in one, I guess. Here, I'm just going to go like this and be lazy. Okay. All right. Come on, camera. Don't fight me here. All right. So this is going to be a making tortilla stream. I've made tortillas many, many uh, eons ago and many, many times because uh, my dear, my dear uh, Nana gave me an awesome uh, tortillas recipe, taught us how much better homemade tortillas were than anything else, really. Uh, her recipe I've adapted. Uh, I'm going to make it as close as I can. Uh, but, you know, in true fashion, you know, transcribing it over the years, you, you don't always remember exactly what you need. So this is what I'm going to be going with. Uh, I'm going to be doing 500 grams of flour, probably more. That's just going to be the ratios, 150 grams of lard, uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons uh, um, uh, baking powder, uh, and hot water. Uh, okay, so that's what I'm going to go with, but I'm probably going to do a little bit more because I want a large batch. So I'm probably going to at least double that, if not more. Uh, and I'm going to kind of go off the cups a little bit here. I'll turn this this way. Uh, I'm going to clear all this shituki out of the way here. Um, this thing's to go over here. And my weird um, stuff is everywhere. Okay, my things I don't need right now. Okay, great. So I'm also going to give this little table a wipe down with a clean-ish sponge because I'm going to be kneading the dough out on the surface so I don't want a bunch of crap in it that's not part of the mix so we're going to do a little bit of kitchen maintenance here all right okay all right in the meantime we're just going to get this nice and sparkly, and we are going to start the dough. Alright. So first, I'm going to get a really big bowl. Um, make a lot of noise. Oh, no. did not go deaf there, but I'm going to get a really big bowl. Uh, I'm not going to uh, be that using that for my measurement. But I am going to uh, do that for a hot second. Cooking stream, I know, Nabileth. It's been a while. It's been a long while. Uh, the foxy lady, you have the foxy lady to thank. She encouraged me to do it. I was like, I'm going to make tortillas today. And she said, you know what? You should stream it because it's your family, one of your family recipes. And it's really yummy. It. Just, you, know, you can steal. That's the whole idea. Is <laughs> share the love. All right. Um, so I'm going to get some, uh, some flour. There's the foxy lady drinking water. <laughs> um, <laughs> where is the flower? The open one is right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so short. It sucks. All right. So I'm going to measure out 500 grams uh, by this recipe that looked pretty close to what my um, abuelita used to do. But I might adjust it because um, she made batches around seven cups. I might do six or seven, depending on how heavy this becomes. So we're going to start with, uh, see how much I'm going to do this in grams. Uh, grams, we're going to do that in, let me see how much we get here. So that's 144. So we got a ways to go. 287 so he does about four cups i'm gonna do about six at least um 300 all right so i gotta make sure i'm keeping track of this because i want my ratios to be on track um okay let me get a piece of paper uh-huh uh -huh. uh So, 
we're gonna have to do some maths to get this uh, where we want it to be 305 okay um, you know I'm just gonna do an even 300 because it's way easier for my sanity being OCD has its advantages so then I'm just gonna do even numbers 300 so I'm gonna so that's about two cups so I'm gonna triple that so it's gonna be about 900 I'm just gonna go a full thousand grams and make it really simple. This lighter is dead, just FYI. Ooh, do we um, have, like... I have butane, I can fill it back up. Okay. Um... So I'm gonna do a kilo. A kilo? A kilo of tortillas. This is gonna right. be a lot. Um, but... hips. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're gonna give them away, so. But if you make tortillas, like, don't make five, you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm gonna double this guy's recipe. So 309, 305. 300 to 300. Um, all right. And I'm going to do another 400 grams. It's good that flour is falling off because I will be kneading the dough on this surface anyway. So, so it's 300 times 2, so 600. I need to get 400 on this next batch. And then I get a kilo of dough. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot. This is gonna not be healthy, but it's gonna be yummy. And easier to measure out. So 300 there. Exactly 300. Oh my God, I'm making a ton of tortillas right now, but you know what? You only tortilla once, Yoto. I'm going to try to go pretty fast with this section. I will take a gaming break because I need to let the dough rest for quite a while. Uh, I hope I have enough time to make these. It's what, 2.39? I have these ready in three hours, so that should be just enough time. All right. So I'm going to put this extra flour here because I will be using it again. I'm going to shave off make it exactly 500 because it feels so good to be precise so i got a thousand grams of uh flour so a kilo of flour there feels good that's a lot of flour oh my god i'm gonna make a ton of tortillas but you know you gotta do it sometimes so i got 1k uh 1k grams of that so i need 150 uh i'm just gonna dust this onto the table because i'm eventually gonna use this table anyways um actually no not at first well whatever i'll figure it out this goes to the sink okay all right so now i need to get 300 grams of shortening which is a ton but it's what we're doing much shortening is required uh hey sweetie where did you find the shortening that we had So, you know what? I'm first going to mix the salt and the baking the powder. Covered on the left side. On the left side in the baking cupboard? Okay. Yeah. So short. And, uh, yeah. Why am I so short? I much okay, that's great. We have a, a huge jug yeah. in the other spot. So, great. All right. <clears throat> so, first, I'm actually going to mix the stuff in with the flour. So, um, got some nice sea salt here. You know, I might even do my season salt, which is really good. Um, it's almost out. But... gonna mix up some yummy stuff because I like my seasonal salt a lot and I want to add a little extra flavor in it. So I'm gonna actually put some truffle in there as well for some more of the weight. That might actually be really good because these are very, very savory and delicious. So uh, anyways, I need to get uh, three teaspoons of salt now. I might hold one back for the hot water because I really liked that idea. So it's one, 
to and then I'll hold this back for when I do the hot water actually because I might I'm only gonna put water in as needed so I might just do it now get all three in there a little extra because salt never killed nobody all right uh, let's do a smidge of some very fine Just a touch of some very fine black pepper because I love it. I love the oils. Maybe I'll do a touch more because that's a crap ton of dough. I think my one uh, challenge with some tortillas is that they don't always have much flavor in themselves. So I'm going to just add a touch, a little touch. And then a touch, 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 pinch, cardamom. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, that's in there, and then I need to do the baking powder, which I'm 99% sure is baking powder, but I want to make sure. It's called polvo para harina. So a tablespoon, okay. So a full tablespoon of baking powder. I'm gonna mix that in pretty well. Oh yeah, I wanna make sure that's also uh, polvo para harina. So a tablespoon of baking powder, that still feels a little light, but it is what it is. I'm going to add a ton. Because the more baking powder in there, the fluffier these are going to be. So I'm not super sad if I go a little overboard. Oh, maybe I'll move this over here. I'm going to add more because I want the baking powder to be good. I want this to taste good. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and get a uh, whisk and start turning this in. Okay, so I got all the salt and stuff here. Uh, everything's in there. Uh, where's my whisk? Where's my titanium whisk? There we go. All right. Mm-hmm. 
It does just smell. There's nothing like the smell of just good flour, you know? I almost wish I had some sourdough uh, starter that I could kind of put in here to give some extra flavor, but it's probably all right. Um, all right. Hot water. I'll get started in a little bit. Next up is the Crisco by weight. Um, all right. So bring the scale back and see how these come out. I've been experimenting with these tortilla. Oh, wow. There's nothing left in here, really. There really ain't nothing left in there. Um, okay. So I need to get some more. So I'll be right back. I need 300 grams. So I got this old hoss here, so just in case I run out, which I definitely will with this other one, but let me get a spoon and get it all out. Waste not, want not, you know? So I need 300. Okay. 18. That's all that was left in there. That's sad. All right. Huh? Of course, she, yeah, she's been pretty well behaved. Yeah, we'll see how these come out. I'm curious. Okay. Just that. <laughs> you can. <laughs> I'll give it to you right now. 160. Oh my god, that's a lot of lard. 249. 318, 314, 311, keep shaving it off, 307, 305, 300 even, and a little bit back in because some of it's going to stick to the side. Okay, 302 grams, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Okay, and I might actually add a little bit of, um, you know, I might have to take a little bit of this out actually and just do it even 300 and add a touch of, um, touch of truffle oil in just so it has some extra flavor. Because, <laughs> excuse me, all that flour is getting into my, getting into my face. Um, what's going on? What are you making? Weed brownies? No, these are tortillas. Um, my old uh, Nana used to make amazing tortillas, and we've been always trying to recreate her recipe, but have not done a great job, uh, sadly. So I'm really, really trying today to make this the definitive version, hence in some part the recording and the streaming, because, um, so I got a big old bowl of flour here. I'm going to mix it up even more before I start putting in the, before I start um, cutting in the shortening. So I really want to get that good before I start putting the shortening in. Okay, and this is going to be gnarly. So get ready. So this old beast goes in there. Poof. Lost a little bit, but that's okay. We'll come back in later. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take that out. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, white truffle oil in because how can you really go wrong with that? I think that'll be great. And the tortillas are cutting in the flour. And now my hands are about to get really dirty. So let me just make sure all the cameras are adjusted properly. And then here we go. So we're just gonna start cutting that enormous amount of shortening into the flour. And now that truffle oil smells really good on these. I think that was a good call. I think that was a great decision. So it kind of needs to eventually get to the point where it feels like sand, like beach sand or um, something like that. So, so it's going to be kind of clumpy, 
you just don't want there to be too much. This is kind of kind of inhibit some of the gluten forming, make it a little bit softer texture, a little bit more tender in terms of how it um, tastes. So we'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. Tortillas are tricky, man. They're, they're so simple. And because they are so simple, it is really easy to not do them right. And I've, trust me, take it from me, I've done it a million, I've made tortillas so many times and very seldom had like perfect tortillas. So it's something that has always been like a, like a white whale for me to make these like really delicious, um, perfect tortillas, but they are very hard to make. I'm just going to keep turning out all the stuff on the bottom. Just get all the flour in there and try to get all the big chunks of shortening out. Oh, see, I can find them still. The temperature is so different. Um, I mean, that does really go through the whole thing, though. Flour is such a neutral, neutral thing. All right. So, yeah, get excited. Feels a little like wet beach sand. I think it needs just a little bit more. I might do another five, five or six little go arounds here. Wheat or corn flour. So I'm using wheat flour. So this is wheat flour. Um, I've... You know, I, I grew up in, you know, Texas. We had a lot of corn tortillas. I never loved them quite as much as I loved uh, flour, honestly. Something about flour tortillas with butter. <laughs> it goes to show you how healthy this recipe is, right? But something about that is like the best thing in the world if you do it right. Unfortunately, like many simple recipes, it's really freaking hard to do right. So we're just going to keep crumbling this up. I'm still getting some pretty big chunks of shortening. So I kind of want to, you know, keep crumbling this up a little bit. Um, yeah, it's getting together. It's getting there now. It's starting to clump like that. And that's kind of exactly where we want it. I'm just going to do another 50, 30, 40 seconds. Just keep breaking it up. I just want it to get really well mixed. Excuse me. All right, this is looking like wet, wet beach sand. So see it's starting to clump a little bit. This is kind of that tender texture that you want. I'll show you guys up close. So you see the way it's kind of clumping together, fracturing when you press it? That's exactly what you want. Please let this work. <laughs> These have been such a challenge, man. These have been one of the toughest things, the toughest things to make and to really make good. Um, because I think that's like the really thing that like, I, I never believed, I don't think when I was, you know, learning, you know, like uh, not as good of a cook, but uh, you know, and you see on the TV shows, they're like, you know, Oh, when you make it, you know, it's a lot harder to make it just right. Like, you know, especially if it's something simple, really hard to do right. I've experienced, <laughs> I really experienced that with these tortillas. Um, I'm going to start my water heating up because it's good to have warm water or you want to have warm water um, going. So I might actually try to leave some of my hands, stuff in my hands. Just dust most of it off. And I have a ton of tortillas here. Um, so yeah, that's just about right. Um, we'll see though. I've been betrayed so many times by tortillas. Every time I try it, it's complicated, it's hard. I've never ever had like a perfect tortilla thing. I want to try to, I'm almost tempted, I'm almost tempted to add some yeast, um, just a very small amount, just so that it gets some fluff. But I don't know if that's gonna like really throw it off. I'm really tempted to do that though. Um, I have, I might even put some in the warm water just to do that, but we'll see. Did your, Nana use truffle oil? No, no. This is my uh, this is my uh, uh, my uh, my adjustment, making it my own a little bit, you know. Because uh, I've always been like, you know, I think the, the the flour tortillas are just so flipping good on their own. But then I feel like if you just add a little bit of extra flavor, you know, it'll be like 10x, right? So that's my that's my theory at least, and I could be wrong. But we were cutting so much fat of that, you know, it wouldn't matter too much at all. <laughs> um.
Let me think. What do I want to do here? I don't think I'm going to do yeast. As much as I'm tempted, I don't think I'm going to do it because I am a little bit leery of um, that bready flavor, which won't be so. But truffle flavor, great. Goes, uh, goes good on everything in my point of view, but, uh, especially very lightly distributed, but a big bready flavor, probably not so much. Um, so I'm just going to really hope that baking powder is good and that it really really comes through for me here because that's where it's going to get soft uh, let me go check her recipe again make sure i'm not missing anything yeah she's been soft crispy oh yeah 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 just the proportions are wrong yeah it's like three <laughs> yeah that's this that's yeah these are better proportions okay um yeah that's about right so I can kind of poke my fingers, it'll flatten out. That's good. All right, this water is heating up. I want it to be warm, not boiling. So I'm going to put that into my nice little cup measure here. I think I need to. No, I'll just put that in here. Uh, okay. I'm going to put. Hot water there. And then a little bit of salt in it. And then a little bit of nutmeg, fresh brown. So I got some pretty hot water here. Yeah, hot enough to make my finger kind of smart if I leave it in there for too long. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump this out onto my uh, surface here. Make sure this is as clean as I can probably get it reasonably. I wish I had a bigger kitchen, but you know, if, uh, if you guys make it rain with the donations, one day I might be able to uh, afford a bigger kitchen. Uh, just being facetious. Um, all right, that all looks pretty good and consistent, kind of exactly where I want it. Um, so, okay, so I make a dent in the middle, make a dent in the middle, and then we start pouring in some of that hot water, just a little bit at a time here, that is hot. Ow, that burns. Not boiling, but hot. Hot water's good. Lukewarm or hot. Turn this over that way a little bit so you can see better. I'm just going to try to contain all this extra flour, which there is a lot. I will vacuum after this, or my wife may murder me. Yeah, that's the one thing about upsizing a recipe, is you're going to definitely um, have to use more, more stuff. All right. Make another little trough here. I want to put some more water in. It's time to go big here. To get some of the crumbly bits in here. 
My Nana was smart and always made this in like a huge ass bowl, but I don't really have like a huge bowl I can do is the, you know, the kneading in the way I want to. Look, she had this massive freaking bowl. Um, but this will have to do. Let's see. God, it smells amazing. Just a tiny, tiny bit of truffle oil just adds so much in terms of smell and flavor. And it's 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 light enough where I, cause I barely put like, you know, like a half teaspoon in there. Um, but it should be just amazing coming through, I hope, in the final product. So the, the good part is I'm going to let this rest. After I finish eating this and get it to a place where it's a nice, good dough. It's holding together really well. I'm going to put it in a, in a bowl, cover it, and let it rest for as long as I can. Uh, I'm probably going to only be able to really do that for uh, an hour or so, maybe two hours. But in the meantime, we'll play some games, which should be fun. coming together coming together slowly starting to become a nice dough ball as opposed to like fluff so what it's all about how do you go from fluff to dough ball well you eat tortillas like this I'll tell you that because these ain't healthy <laughs> How do you become a true dough ball? Well, folks, well, Twitch fans, I'll give you the secret. It involves tortillas and eating them regularly. But once in a while, it's okay, you know, because it's yummy. And sometimes it's okay to have yummy things when you've had a long week and you're feeling a little bit nostalgic. You make some yummy stuff that maybe isn't so healthy for everybody. But you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I want this to be a little bit tacky. I want it to be a little tacky. Still too crumbly, in my point of view. I want it to be tacky. After 20 or 30 minutes of kneading, I should be good, right? Okay, that's looking like what I want it to look like. That's great. Maybe we'll put a little bit more liquid in there. How's that doing temperature-wise? Still pretty warm. All right. Get all the little crumbs and bits. Like that. That is just some random crap on my table. Okay. God, it smells so good. I just showered too. I'm gonna have my have to take another shower after this workout. I have a uh, KitchenAid with the dough hook, but I want to be extra careful with this because I'm using a crap ton of flour. This is a big batch, and I would rather make sure that it's done right. Let me give a little bit more water in the hot water thing. Yeah, and this is just my feel, like that's the challenge, right? So much of these amazing cooks, you know, especially home cooks, they just know the recipe, they know how it's supposed to look. How it's supposed to feel. I remember it vaguely because I haven't cooked these in a while, but hopefully we'll get this to a nice smooth bowl. It's still a little too chunky right now, so I'm gonna add some more water. All right. Okay. 
much better. That's, yeah, it's good. Kind of want it a little tacky. good tastes like it's supposed to mm. and when I was a kid I used to eat this dough all the time it is so good gotta get it nice and smooth let it rest for a long time as long as I can before I actually have to put these on the griddle Mm. You want to try some of the dough, Foxy? That's the best part. In, in, in. Yeah, put a little bit of oil in there because it's uh, you, you know you can use liquid oils. Give me a hunk. Oh, that's a big hunk. <laughs> Isn't that so good? Mm. Very good. <laughs> it's the best. They mm. just eat that. Yeah, I know. Mm. Tortillas are going to be good, though. Mm. That's delightful. Mm. Just a hint of purple. Yeah. Good. A touch more warm water. It's still a little not smoothing out the way I want it to. I'll just eat it. <laughs> I won't need it back in, but I'll eat it. <sighs> All right. Final boss's second workout of the day. Working up a sweat. All right, this is looking nice. So one of the ways my nana told me to test this was to cut it and to see how well it sprung back. Springing a little bit. So we got some gluten in there. Still a little crumbly, so I might just add a touch more water. It is kind of tacky the way I want it to be though. So not too much more. I think just a touch more water couldn't kill me though. We're so close. Okay. Whew. Hopefully these come out good because that's the thing with simple recipes is they're very technique driven. They require a lot of work. And if you mess up one thing, you mess up the whole thing. But hopefully this will be good. It's starting to smooth out nicely though. Remember she needed it a lot. So I'm gonna follow Nana's instructions. Hit!
Oh, there it goes. Okay. Get a knife, cut it. So it should open up a little bit more. It's opening. I think I need to put some more water in. Honestly, it still feels a little too hard. A little too dense. That's a lot of water though. Maybe just a little water. Oh, wow. Dump the rest. <laughs> Dump the extra. Ooh, squirting water all over myself. That's fun. Okay. It's a little tackier there, but hopefully this will give me the consistency I want once it dries up a little bit. That's good. Sticky. I don't think I'm going to need too much more water after this. I will have to let it rest for a while now. Yeah, it's starting to smooth. Piece of something, get out of there. Yeah. I don't want to toughen it up too much, but. Trying to just give it the amount of kneading that's required here. It's not quite smooth enough. It looks like it's fracturing too much. Damn, more water, I guess. Maybe I should have left all that water in, huh? Still just cracking rather than rather than being a smooth dough. So that means more water. It's okay. It still is very like chunky. It should be like really smooth. We'll see. We'll see. More water. Save us. That's feeling more like tortilla. It's a little softer. Yeah, it's not as not as ripping. Okay. Just a little bit more water, a little bit at a time. That's been helping. I just don't want to knead it too much so it doesn't like turn into like a rock. <sighs> okay. Whew. I'm gonna have to take a breather after this. I haven't done this in a while. Okay. Looking smoother. I might even just add more water. Heck. Every time I do, it looks better. So it's about a quarter inch. Still is looking so chunky like that. Hmm. Greetings. How's it going? Action man. Is that what it says? My monitor is a little far away, so I can't read exactly. All right, let me give us one last dose of water. I'm going to think I'm going to put it down to rest. Soften that dough up. 
Yeah, it's ironic. Normally I'm adding flour, but this time it's just so thirsty. This dough, just more water every time. I mean, it's splitting kind of the way I want it to. It's starting to break a little bit, which means it's getting real tacky. So that's kind of, oh yeah, that seems like more like what I need. I need a little bit more water, I think. Jeez, this thing is thirsty. I did put a crap ton of flour in it, so. But that's starting to feel exactly like what I want. That's maybe a little bit too much, but I got flour in case I need to reverse the process. Squelch. That's probably too much. I got some towels here. So black crap. Come on, I hope you absorb it all. There's a lot of flour, so damn. back and forth here of water and flour and salt huh that's looking like more what I want though so it's like really soft really nice dough ah that is feeling more like tortilla all right so I'm gonna do the cut test Gonna open by a quarter of an inch. These are springing back, not so much. So maybe just a touch more. That's not a quarter of an inch right there. Maybe just a touch more kneading. Still is kind of like fracturing. I don't know. That looks like it could be a good tortilla. Still is tearing a little bit. It's not really holding together to the degree I want. Tastes great, but. if it's more water or more flour let's do some more kneading huh that's the real key knead the crap out of it and it's kind of like feeling like where it's supposed to feel like i think i'll just put a touch more water in and i'll start adding flour and see how that changes it Come on, we know you're tacky. Come on. Get it all out of your system. Okay, it's bouncing back. Splitting a little bit. I'm just gonna give it a dusting of flour. See how that changes my consistency. And then if it gets nice and smooth, great. I want it to be silky. A little chunky. Well, I'm probably gonna give it another few minutes and just let it rest. I 
think it's kind of because we put so much fat in it it's kind of getting a more biscuity consistency than some of the other tortillas I've had but it is what it is <laughs> I don't know how she did it. You could cut it and it would like split open. Maybe she just kneaded it more. It has more gluten in there, but I don't know. I don't want to make it too tough. Let's see. I still want to have time to let it rest. Probably don't have much to do that with. Tastes great. Mm. It was delicious. Whether it's going to come together, we have yet to find out. And it's splitting. It should be like that, but it's splitting. There's some tension there. Maybe I'll just give it another five minutes. And then we play some games, and then while it rests, and then we're back to cooking. So get excited. Just a touch more flour. I'm like the sticky consistency, but maybe a little bit more gluten can't kill anybody, right? Very soft dough, which just bodes well. I mean, that recipe was essentially a biscuit dough. So we'll see what happens. It's looking more like it's supposed to now. Still a little chunky. Still a little raggedy, which I don't like. But, mm, tastes great. See what happens. This is making me hungry now. I know, I know. Shame on me. There we go. Quarter inch split. That's what I need. All right, I'm going to call this. I'm going to need a couple more times. I'm going to put it in a big bowl with a wet towel on top. It doesn't dry out on me. Let it rest for 45 minutes to two hours. Whatever I have time for. Maybe I'll play a round or two of TFT while we do that. Huh. That is looking more like it. Mm -hmm. It is very good for getting your aggression out, you know? It's like, if you're making dough, you don't have to yell at the cat. It feels a little raggedy, but whatever. Maybe it'll smooth out once I, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's springing. That's, <laughs> it's got gluten in there. It's bouncing back. It's springing. It's got some of that tension. Now we gotta let it all rest. After another half a minute of smushing. Put all the little dough bits in there. And then get the gemal. That is good looking tortilla dough. Not perfect. I'm no hero. I'm no tortilla hero. But 
I'll put that in there. Get a towel. Get wet. Put a wet towel in there, tuck it in, let it rest for at least 45 minutes, if not more. And then we'll start. Certainly, I got some time, I got an hour and a half. I'll probably get two canals going. Use my cast iron for some small tortillas. They're my big skillet, but that's gonna be a hassle. I don't get this big old beast for my larger tortillas if I can get that there. Alright, so we got everything pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna leave this camera here. I'm gonna move my normal one back to my desk. Let's play a round or two, beat the dough, let out that anger, I know. So we're gonna play a little bit of TFT. Look at that. Dough everywhere. <sighs> I think we earned it. I think we earned a game of TFT. What do you all think? I think so too. <laughs> Man. Well, it's booting up. I don't have to take a breather. Let's do gaming. So uh, it'll rest for the time it takes me to drop two ranks in, uh, in League. You know, That's how it works, right? Don't worry, I'm gonna get I'm gonna step outside for a second and I'll but I'll, I'll get my headset on so I can keep talking. Mm. Very much earned. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Whew. That was some uh, that was some work right there. Alright, well I will um Get ready for a ranked TFT. All right, I'm gonna take a quick five minute breather. <laughs> Not even, maybe like a minute and a half. Uh, and then I will be ready to rock and roll and play some TFT with you guys. So that should be pretty fun. All right, Brawler Blaster, still number one. Ugh. Shake my head. But uh, don't worry, I'm still going to be uh, within chat reach. And if you guys want to talk about any writing questions or things that you may or may not have, let me know. I'm here. I'm checking my garden. I just replanted a bunch of stuff today, which I'm pretty excited about. Nice day, man. <sighs> I did a bunch of yard work and things today. I've been a very productive boss. You know that, folks? I'm feeling proud. I do need to put another uh, thing on that, though. So, Noticing some errors in my yard work. I have a bunch of zip ties holding up my cat fence to keep my poor cat from committing suicide out of stupidity. <laughs> I think it's called stupidicide. Uh, my cat, when we first got this second story apartment, stared longingly over the edge. <laughs> and so we had to put up uh, chicken wire. We had to zip tie up chicken wire because my cat, uh, I don't think really understands what heights are in the way that's necessary for survival. So we've had to uh, help her out a little bit. Like I said, that cat's not going to win any Nobel Prizes over the next couple of months, you know what I mean? She's not winning no Nobel Prizes. Alright, my scissors.
All right, and we're ready to play some ranked TFT. Let's climb, boys and girls. Let's climb. Let us climb. All right, I return. Ugh. Whew. So it'll probably be enough for me to lose a few games. <laughs> so I'm going to put a timer. I'm just going to put my stopwatch on. It's 3.33, but better to check. I'm going to do minimum 45 minutes, maximum. So minimum for 15. Ah, League of Legends, let's go. Whew. <laughs> Action man, take it easy. <laughs> well, I'm glad uh, Action Man could self select. I just read that line. I'm like, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep it PG-13. <laughs> I'm like, well, at least, you know, you're honest with yourself. And that's what counts. All right. Splash a little bit of water on the top of my dough. Because you blow. All right. Maybe I'll get the foxy lady to help me out when uh, she's done, but she still has some work to do today, sadly. Can't just goof around and make tortillas like us, uh, us cool folks, right? Well, it has to rest. It has to rest a lot if you want them soft. Oh, uh, Stephen, uh, uh, Stephen replied in terms of, um, if they have like, if you have like a beach one, I know we had beach one somewhere. I don't know if that's at Xander's though. Are there aren't there others though? You did a couple of beach ones. You can take a little bite of the dough if you want. Ain't nobody gonna stop you. Right? Huh? It's pretty addicting, that dough. I tried to evolve, you know, some of Dee Dee's recipe to, to our taste. I think she'd appreciate it. Yeah. Especially, like, stuff like that. Like, I was debating on putting some yeast in it and letting it... Because, like, the last problem I had with the previous recipe was it was so hard... Couldn't get any gluten, or it was too much gluten, and then I was like, well, maybe I can yeast it and we'll eat it eat it up a little bit, but I'm just trying to do it as this recipe says, and mix some of her stuff in and see what I can get out of it. It's been a journey. Yeah, yeah. Blade Masters, sure, we'll get... We'll do Blade Masters here. What is that one? Chrono Blade Masters, huh? Alright, fine, we'll try it. Chrono Blade Masters. Ok, 
Come on, give me some items, please. Lux, ah, screw it, I'll just buy some of these. Is that Dark Star? I can hold the Dark Star. So that's Dark Star I'm holding. Ugh. Not getting exactly what I want here. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh, my neck. Oh, Thirster's good. Do I need Bloodthirster on somebody? No, I need Guardian Angel more. That's for the Blade Master build. Jeez. I don't know if I even use it for the other one. Oops. Oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. Wrong button. No. Bloodthirster's not a big thing anymore, sadly. It's all the. Gunzukadu's Rage Blade. RFC, I need a lot of attack speed, it looks like. Come on, guys, you're better than this. How are you not doing any damage? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's do that. Do I see myself going Dark Star? Do I see it? Oh, somebody's in. Try to survive a little bit more here early. This guy has all my units. I have his Caitlyn, so go to heck. Go jump in a lake, jerk. Who is Ezreal? How do you... How rude. Well, you got wrecked anyway, sir, so take that. All right, I'm going to start conning here pretty soon. I'm a little stable now. I mean, mentally not, but... Um, man, mech pilot. I think I do need to cast, though. Is he a blade master? No, he's a mana reaper. Do I have mastery? No. Do I see myself going dark star? Probably not. Ah, shoot, do it. I'll just have an extra blade master. It's just better to get the blade master buff, I think, at this point. Hmm. Really want to Shen, please. I forgot this is a backline person. Oh god, she goes in the backline. Come on, baby! First place, please! Heavens! Heaven save me! Alright, I gotta go. I gotta pick me up some, um... Some bows, some bows, some bows. Some bows, just desserts. Oh, that was good at GA then. Come on. No! Well, fine. Finey. Fine. No, uh, Vi with that with the giant spell sounds super bad, yeah. I need to get Guardian Angel though. And I'll put it on one of my temps. One of my temporaries. Yeah, yeah.
Oh, why do I have force of nature? Why do I have force of nature? How the hell did I get force of nature? Does everybody have one? How did I get force of nature? Is everybody else going? Vanguard, Blaster, Space Pirate. She's got Graves and Lucy. That's not a very good setup. This guy's got more stuff. Oh my god, he's got Jinx already? Jeez Louise. Chrono Blaster. That's not the greatest. Brawler, Chrono, Celestial Sorcerer. That's kind of crazy. Got a bunch of random stuff, that guy. Oh, please. Okay. Cast it in level two. All right. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy luck, man. Oh, shit. Too slow. Um. I'm trying to wait for Kale here. Wait, get him in in a second. Looks like I'm going Blade Master. Tokyo's quit. Yikes, I don't blame him. Yay. Could have sold those two. That was a bit stupid of me. What's the Cassidens? What's the extra Zayas? Just gonna wait. Why the heck not? Why the heck not? Ugh, gross. Leave her alone. Well, at least I'm getting some good damage on these guys pretty early. One more, and then infiltrators, huh? We'll see what happens. Jeez, man, more mouth fights, huh?
not getting what I need per se. Let's hope that does the trick, huh? The celestial do fifteen percent healing. really need that sword. Don't think I'm going to get it. Don't do it. That'll be kind of his buff there. I'll put her in front of him so she can get hit. All right. Hmm. Hi, hi. How much time is it rested for? I might try to make some... Oh, really? Okay. Well, then I'm mistaken, as always. Yeah. You? Man, I'm really holding out for an Ezreal here. Or a Wukong. I'm going to sell that guy. Come on, give me some bows. Ugh. Dark Star Sniper. Tempting. Man, Dark Star's everywhere. I'll just win by overwhelming trollishness here. This is like the weirdest build ever, but that's all I'm getting, dude. You see him now? Okay. 
If I can get a level 2 gin, that would change the tune a little bit of what my strat would be. Let's see. There's Ezreal. So who does he replace? He replaces Caitlyn. Yeah. Kaisa? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna chase snipers. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> um We'll see, I've been okay for now, so. I'm stable, so as long as I can keep staying stable, it's good. Head buff. I can put some stuff on the house, so no. I have such weird stuff this game. I cannot find. You need a Wukong, right? Yeah. Totally. Totally. Um, how am I going to do this? I think I'm going to switch that out next. Should we want to find another Ezreal, please? I don't think I need Lucian ever, so I'm just going to sell him. Put him low priority. Alright, that gives me a lot good things. Oof, there it goes. Alright, I gotta start being more more aggro here. Five armor? I don't know what that means, but um bows. I'll take a misfortune though. Annie, you fool. Yes. Don't get the Zareth. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yes. Excellent. Alright. I got a good start on Kale if I freaking can find that unit. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm... <laughs> this is such a weird build today. I mean, there's some brawlers. This chick's going... Um, that's going, uh, Aurelia, do I put Aurelia in? No, strangely. Um, okay. So who's going to get the big items? Um, no, I need to save that. Red buff is what it makes. The big brawler boy. Who's taking the most damage? Who's the most life? 1600. 1500. Oh my god. A level 3 Xin Zhao. Jeez. It's going to be challenging. Alright, let's see who took the most damage. Oh, that was 13. Okay. We'll just see who has the most life. Ah, oh, darn. Messed up. All right, that guy's 1100. That guy's 8, 16, 15. So Malphite's my big boy. So I'm gonna go um, like this on Malphite. Uh, red buff. Do I need red buff for anybody? Nah. Um, um, this goes away. Oh my god. I'm screwing up so bad right now. Um, Chrono Blade Master. There's my Shen. Been looking for him for a long time. Um, Cassidy.
Kill that Annie. Man, decisions, decisions. I'm just going to pick here. But not until next to round. <laughs> All right, so this guy's gonna switch out for Master Yi. Hopefully I can find another Shen. I think I'm gonna roll down right after this. I'm gonna go to eight, roll down, see if I can get it. I really need a Kale. Um, who would I switch out? So this is my Brawler build. Ow, how rude. Um, that's on that. God, I need a Kale so bad. All right, I got what I need. Man, this is great. I have exactly what I need except the unit. Um, okay, so I'm just going to roll up. I'm going to put this guy in. Sure, Shen. I already got a Shen in. Who else? I'm going to put Wukong. There we go. That could be my chrono, and then I'm just going to roll down. Um, my brawler I'll pick up. Sure. Yeah, yeah, too. I don't think I'm gonna get that. Gangplank could be nice. I'll just hold it so I can get a misfortune, huh? Or a thresh. I'll take a thresh. All right, so I'm going Chrono. So I'm gonna sell all this shit, Take. All this brawler shit. Um, I don't know why I got a blitzkrank there. Thank you. Kill that mother lover. Give me my Kales back. Yes. <sighs> All right. So who do I trade out? Don't need him anymore. Um, Graves, you're great, but you're not that great. Um, okay. So this is looking kind of like what I want, minus the Blitzcrank. Um, God, I got so many items I need to put down. All right, hold on. Uh, I'm just going to roll now. Wukong, shit, come on. Um, I need some twos. Get a Shen. Seen a lot of Ezreal's, man. Jeez, really in soul, man. Gosh, look at that. Ooh, there's my Kale. That's big. I mean, why not, right? Oh shit, I got a level three. Damn. Didn't intend that, but I'll take it. I can fill up with some extra stuff. Alright, that wasn't a bad loss, but it wasn't a great one either. <sighs> okay, wow. Okay, who do I need to get rid of? Um, who do I not need? Not need. Uh, Fiora, Cybernetic Blade Master, is she even in here? No, she's bye bye. Right? I don't ever have a Fiora, nor need one. Okay, cool. So you get sold into slavery. This goes on Kale, that goes on Kale, that goes on Kale, and that goes on Kale. Um, that, I'm waiting for Miss Fortune, so I'm going to pick up another... Oh, damn, I should have put Aurelian Soul in. But, I mean, I can just have him as my little backup guy. So what do I need? I need Shen, Ezreal, Cassidy, and Kale, Woo, Miss Fortune, Thrush. Okay, god dang, dude. Get a wreck, sir. Thanks for all my stuff. Wish you would have pulled that one in, but I'll have to take what I can get. So I really need that. I'm holding as is. I really need Shen, so that's over that. I think we can I think we got a shot here, folks. Just give me my misfortune. No. Okay, what else do I need? I need a good item. Um I can get a war mogs for my front line. That wouldn't be sad. Oh, come on. Uh. Um. Um. Oh, was that a Wukong? Damn, I should have gotten that one. Shit, I suck. Damn. Oh well. Wukong would be a good one to put that on, actually. Oh, it's even more frustrating. Um. Or Ezreal. What goes on is? Uh, 
doesn't matter. I need to roll down. Or I need to go for level six here. Um, 40 more. I'm going to roll a little bit. Thresh. Do you need... Oh my god, too slow. Too slow. It's too freaking slow, huh? I don't think I need to hold the x ray so now. Yes. Give me a kale, man. Gosh damn, man. All right, hold on. I need to figure this out here. Um, This needs to go. Um, This needs to go on Thresh. Um, you can put Seraphs on Thresh. I mean, that can't hurt, right? Yeah. Seraphs on Thresh can't hurt. Hexatech Gunblade on him can't hurt. We'll just buff Thresh up super hard. Because he's my boy. He's a he's a tough cookie, so I might get rid of this Zaya. I don't see myself getting Zaya three, and I'm just gonna roll down super hard. There's misfortune. Who else? Who's my extra? Blitz, Blitz is my extra. Okay, that's good to know. Ooh, I need that. Please, one more. So my blitz goes. This is bye bye blitzy. Get my Valkyrie buff. Um, and then Aurelian Soul's going in because why not? He's Rebel, I guess. Starship could do Gangplank, but what would he do? Mercenary, Space Pirate, do I have any Space Pirate in his shit? Not really. Not really. Who's gonna get that? That gonna be uh give me some money please. Alright, I think I'm just gonna roll down super hard for kale. Does anybody else have kales that's almost about to die? Wow, that guy's a lot of level threes. Um that's <laughs> I'm seeing him on level threes. This guy's a level one kale. Alright. Um Come on, guys. Jeez, hard to beat that, isn't it? Damn. Level 3 Ash, level 3 Zen. Oh my god. That's that's pretty OP right there. I don't know what to do about that. Uh, except roll like freaking crazy, because I'm going to need it. Might as well try it really, right? She's a blade master. Let her get pulled in by what's his name, huh? Um, we only need a Shen. <laughs> All right, come on, give me somebody. Give me another Kale, for fuck's sake. Oh, I think I'm dead. I still got my level two. Oh my god, I forgot to put this down. Give it to Ez, huh? Ah, oh, give it to Misfortune, huh? Alright, beat that shadow at least. Thank god, at least I have another level 2 in my front line. Alright, we're gonna go like that, tighten that up. Man, I really need another freaking KO, like, as bad as I've never needed anything in this game. Alright, there we go. Alright, um. I just need to level up and hope for, hope for the best. Got a bunch of big bad units on the bench, so. Just throw this on somebody, I guess. Who do I throw it on? Misfortune? Sure. Oh, 
Not the level one kale thresh. Not the level one kale. God damn. They're so strong. So many level threes. Damn, dude. It's pretty cheese. Get luckier. <laughs> um, um, demolitionists. I'm going to do demolitionists. This might be my only shot. It's my only shot. It's a good shot if I can hit this. Um, 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 who has a big AoE? Um, um, this guy. No. This guy has an AoE. We'll do Cass. Um, come on, let's go, please. Um, I just need to start selling. I think I need to sell these Ezreals and start rolling. Do I already have a Wukong too? Yeah. Oh, there's an Ezreal ball. It's a bait. It's a bait. I just need another... Stun! Save me, stun! Save me, stun! Oh, it didn't stun! <gasps> Forgot to put it on her! Fuck! Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> I threw. I threw, I threw, I threw, I threw, I threw! Oh my god, why? Oh my god. Let's look at that. I forgot to put it on her. <laughs> so stupid. Oh wow, why did I do that? <sighs> Cassidy, all right. I need to find another Cassidy. All right, it's Aurelia. Do I need to sell this, probably. How much life do I need to sell? Oh, it's too late. I'm dead. I lost. GG. I fucked up. Oh, there's my demolitionist. If I don't die on this one, I might have a shot. I just need to go full demolitionist here. God, GG's. <sighs> Do you like the game, Counter Strike? It's free. Uh, tortillas, are, they're still waiting. They're still resting. The tortillas are in the kitchen, so. Still waiting. I'm, I'm letting them rest. Uh, for a game or two of this, and then I will. I'll probably do one more game. Man, I kind of screwed that up. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. But I'll do one more game, then I'm going to start making them. Well, it's 411. How long have they been resting for? So they're resting, so I was letting the gluten kind of relax so they won't be like super rock hard. Okay. Don't you have work? Oh, okay. Doing one more. Man, that was so close. That was so close. It's hard when someone just gets those level threes, man. You try to get level threes. I never get level threes. I don't know how people do it. It's just when they're in a, in a zone where nobody's picking, you know? Okay, what kind of players do I have? I have they have Chrono, a lot of Chronos, a lot of Mana Reavers, a lot of Brawlers. Eesh. All right, players unranked. Yeah, a lot of people chasing those items. That's fair. That's all right. I'm gonna take a little taste of my dough while this thing loads up. See how it's looking. If it's getting softer. Oh man, that is really tender dough. It's really soft. Oh man. Holy moly. Don't know if it's worth it to hold on to Fizz that long, but if I can get Max. How good is Mech right now? 
any lux. things all right that's cool some good early brawlers get some pairs Why not? all right I'm gonna hold fizz a little bit if I can find some uh, I like I, I tried the counter-strike I got I got a, a pass to um, I got a pass to the new Blizzard game, or to the new Riot game. I got the, I got a pass to um, Vanguard or whatever. Valorant, Valorant, that's what it's called. I got a pass to Valorant. It's getting a little dry. I'm going to get some more water on there. All right. Tastes amazing. Some of the most delicious tortilla dough I've made. Whether it, will, whether it will resolve into delicious tortillas is yet to be um, un, uh, discovered, but now I'll do like this, that. Um, man, the brawlers look so tempting, though. The brawlers are so tempting. I don't think I'm going to go yaya, -ya, so I might pick another one of these. I'm going to hold my mech warriors. If I got a mech warrior, I feel like... Oh, that's nice. I think I'm going that. Did I, did I sell my Yaya already? Damn, I did. <sighs> Let me think. I'll just go on the safe side. I'm going to go more... Uh, uh, uh. Vanguards give everybody our... Vanguard champions just gave it up, maybe. Right. That's probably better. One, two, pair right there. Groan. Hate to lose that. Oh, look, that guy's got a poppy. Oh, I'm glad I've got a poppy, too. <laughs> it's always fun. I actually am more open to like the higher rolls early on because you get a little bit better access if I'm chasing some not level 1 units. Get a couple of free rolls with better stuff. Kill that girl. God, Poppy's not dying easy. I mean, <laughs> come on, just die, lady. I should get the graves. Oh, too late. Well, I got a nice brawler lineup. Let's see what everybody's Vanguard. Uh, he's got some rebel brawl. He's got a Mal Mal fight. This guy's got a few brawlers. Is it going void or something stupid? I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's going to be weird. God, that guy's Wukong. Damn. <laughs> Sucks. Wukong's so good. There's not any damage out there. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. Did you shower? Oh, is that just what you went in there to do? Oh, got you. Get him, Poppy. Not going to happen. Almost. I mean, Darius is fun. I, mean, I feel like three brawlers is pretty good right now. If I can just get one of them to level two. Ugh, stupid. 
do need that chick though. Do you need that chick? Oh, come on, kill these guys, please. I might sell Graves for the Kaisa. It's a little bit better. Oh, my God. Everybody's got brawlers. I don't know if it's worth it to hold that. Who else do I need? I need a Rumble. I can just get a freaking Rumble, man. Let's see. Mech Infiltrator. That's what I want, huh? Alright. Do I see a rumble? No. What are the items I need? You know, thorn mail I can get. I can get an Annie with a thorn mail. Puts it all in one little bit. Needs more money at least. Can put all the items on Annie, I guess. Armor and bow. They should have gotten the bow, it's a little rare. Fist, okay. Okay, we'll see what happens. Ugh. Do I want to sell her? Kind of. To a CD. Oh. Um, what is it? This in bow? Oh, come on, give me a rumble. I really saw my Vi there. That was kind of stupid, wasn't it? I deserve this loss. This is going to be a loss, and I'm going to deserve it. Ugh, I'm playing so stupid this game. Sad. Come on, get him, mother lovers. Oh, so close. So fun. That would have been nice. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll find another violator. That was a little dumb. That was a little dumb. To sell that vi, that was pretty stupid. Pretty stupid all around. Um, all right, dude, I'm getting tired of these mother lovers, man. They suck. One more round, man. One more round, and then I'm done. I'm selling. Ink. Oh, that guy's a level two Zaza. What the frick? Why does he have a level two Zaza? I'm a level two Blitz. That's annoying. Man, I need econ pretty soon. <laughs> Give me a rumble! Come on! <laughs> Killing me. Weird hearing you curse so much. Oh, I know. I, I do kind of um, have video game charts. I don't even realize it. I think it's uh, something I really try to avoid. But unfortunately, whenever I get in front of a video game, it is my brain just changes gears, unfortunately. It's no excuse. I should definitely be cursing less. But, um, uh, but yeah, it's a little bit of a bad habit, I think. I know. I know it's a bad habit. Curse my mouth. Curse my cursy mouth. Alright, I think I need to sell that. Oh, dang. That's weird. I thought I was going to jump across. Oh, well. Come on. Give me the items I need, please. Alright. I'm going to sell you. I'm going to sell you. I want to at least get some econ here. Man, it looks like Brawler Blaster is what I'm going. Wish I hadn't sold that Vi. That was kind of a silly idea. 
All good. Yeah, I'm making tortillas in the background, so get excited. Um, I'm going to probably start putting those on. Oh, of course. Ooh, there's my Annie. There's Darius. Gimme. Wow, man. This really does not want me to go. I, I'm just going to go Brawler Blasters, man. Like, honestly, like it's it's like every turn it's stopping me from the other builds. So I think I'm just going to do what it's ask, like literally begging me to do and just have the other ones as backup. Um, brawlers, get rid of Leona. Oh, shoot. Well, I'll still have Vanguard open. We're right on the fence, man. Gosh. I've been just getting wrecked this game, man. This feels bad. But I have a lot of good stuff for um, Brawler Blaster. <laughs> My items are heading in that direction a little bit more, so if I don't hit this thing pretty freaking soon, I'm going to bounce. Wow. I'm going to econ a couple more turns, maybe until the next shared draft. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the damage. I'm going to take the damage. I made these delish tortillas. I'm very excited to try them. Shake goes what I would need for that. Oh. Stringing me along here. There's a Vi. Ugh, there's an Annie too. There's a Vi. There's a Rumble! Oh, there we go. Maybe I will sell one of these extra Blitch Cranks. We're going to go like that, like that, and like. Please, God, hurry, 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 hurry. Um, I'm going to sell this. I'm going to hold on the baller roster just in case I don't find the other units because it's nice to have a backup. <laughs> wow, still got stomped. Yeah, this doesn't really materialize here. <laughs> this doesn't materialize. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was embarrassing, guys and gals. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, I was hoping for that to materialize. I was hoping for that to be a game changer, but you know what? I would need to put all the items on it. I'm a little reticent to do that right now when it's not, like, great items yet. Um, I mean, I'm going to put a GA on him because... I'm going to use a GA no matter what. And if it's on him versus somebody else, then gravy, right? Sell this chick. Okay. GA doesn't hurt. Go get them, boys and girls. Nice. Yeah, get a win. Get a win, please. Get them. I need that gold. Give me that gold. Thank goodness. All right. Another fizz. I could always use another fizz. Um. Item wise, what do I need? Da, 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 da. Um, got armor probably. Um, screw it, I'm getting the fist. No, no, because you want that, I want it. Because <laughs> you want it, I want it now. It's not going to be the best build ever, but. We'll see what happens. I mean, what? It's all right. That's all right. God, that's good. 
Yeah, if this starts losing, I'll be able to pivot pretty solidly to Brawler Blaster, I think. Not getting much of my other stuff, which sucks. Um, yeah, I need to save up for at least that. Does that do Millerellos? Morello Chromanon? I want to put that on my Yaya. Yeah, yeah. What? I want to... I mean, fizz to this early is pretty good. Get him! Get him! Get him! Let's go. Back in life! Back alive! Do I want to save now? This is good. Just getting my little backup set up here. Do I want a Wukong? No, I do want a Shaco. I want a Lux. A Kaylee, a Kale. I'm just gonna put a little bit into econ or into to growth here. I feel like the sooner I level up, the better. It's a good setup for now, though. Man, these tortillas are so good. They smell. They taste amazing. I just got spanked. Bummer. All right. I am not in love with this build right now. Not in love with it anymore. I hate it. Hope these guys give me money. Dark stars today. So I'd love to get a single level two of one of my guys, please. Level 2 Ash, of course. I haven't gotten a single level 2 of one of my good units. It's my story of my life. Wine, wine, wine. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's go. Do I have a level 2 Annie? I do. Do you need that Kaisa, though? Um... Sucks. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Don't worry, I'm going back to cooking in a second. I just want to lose this game, which I'm about to. Which I'm working on. Gosh, come on, just do your ult. Thank you. Gosh, this guy has all my stuff, man. Wow, level 3 Kukumuku? What the frick? What the frick?
Babu freak. All right, I gotta. You gotta level on that. I'm gonna. I gotta start spending 38 life. Yeah, I really gotta start spending. God Almighty, this is bad. This is bad. This is this build's not helping me. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna level up. Get some room on my bench. Get some room on my bench. Put a graves up there. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna roll down. But Cho, okay, I found a Cho. A Shaco. God, I would love to have a Shaco right now. Um. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I'm dead, dude. I'm dead. I'm, I'm fucked up. Shaco. <laughs> Getting spread so thin. Didn't pick a build. Man, that was my problem. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna uh, sell the Kale, buy the Chogoth, and I'm going. I'm going Brawler Blaster. Fuck it. Sell this chick. Sell this guy. Buy. If I survive this, I'm going Brawler Blaster. Um, God, level three. You kidding, dude? <laughs> Are you freaking kidding? All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, what do I want for Brawler Braster? I want an armor so I can get a um. I hope it doesn't combine. Please don't combine. All right, I'm gonna put the uh, Muller Morales on Cho. This is gonna be bad, guys and gals. It's gonna be real bad. Oh, I just need to get a Jinx, which I don't even have close to getting. I'm level seven. How's this guy level five? Has he just been rolling down like a freaking knucklehead? God, of course he has. Look at these two level threes. You're kidding me. Disgusting. Insulting to my intelligence. Alright, so these guys are going to go... Um, this I'm selling, this I'm selling, this I'm selling. Uh, that I'm selling. Cho's going in. You're going in. Ez going in. Um, Vi going in. Trying this here. We'll see how it goes. I really need some big damage though. And you switch out. And you get this. You get that. Um, that goes on Vi when I find her. Um, where did my Morellas go? Come on, get them, boys. Get them! Oh, yes! Yes! Uh, <laughs> I had no business winning that. Except for Zaza's portal. I really need to get a buy right now. All right, so I'm gonna start rolling down for that. Um, uh, sure, I'll get the threes. I'll get the graves. Sure. Um, okay. Buy some of those because f that guy who has all my annies. Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Wow, like night and day. Get a decent build. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now I really need a Jinx, which I cannot find, which is sad. <laughs> which is making me sad. Sad again. I can put Ionic on Vi, I guess. Alright. Wow, that was intense, man. Coming back. Welcome and thank you for the follow, Faz Parte and <laughs> Anna Media. Not going to pronounce it the way. Um, <laughs> the way one might. Oh, I shouldn't have combined all my items right there. Big mistake. Big mistake. All right, what do I got? 
Another Onyx Spark. Uh, Jin Kale. Uh, what? Um, let's just, ah, oh, thank goodness, Jinx. All right, so this sells. How much does it cost to get to the next level? Okay, who do I need to switch out? Who do I need to switch out? Nobody yet. Uh, Lucian, I'm probably not going to need. Why is this Shaco still here? Go home. Um, I desperately need to level up so I can get my Jinx in. Um, please, find another Jinx. Thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness. Oh, another buy, another buy, another buy. Sharp has two. Yes. Whew. Playing this one close to the chest, boys and girls. All right. So, um, Graves can get switched out for her. I'm going to get a level two Jinx. Uh, Bramble Vest. Man, I kind of want to have that, but I'm just going to put that for the um, that. Vi's can get another Attic Spark for all these magic people. Um, we're gonna go like that. Extra graves. Is he a rebel? No, he's just a space pirate. Get some. Uh, get some. Get some, please. Feels good, man. I'll maybe I'll put this on show. Uh, that was a little bit of uh, <laughs> rolling really fast to get what I needed, but we're kind of back on trackish. We have at least a build that will not instantly kill us. I'm gonna put some armor up on show. I'm gonna save up. I want to get to level eight. I want to be able to put Graves back in, so I need to get to level 8. Um, for reasons I don't know. Oh my god, it's 441. I gotta wrap this up. Um, might be a little bit late. So after this, I'm done. Get him! Get him! Damn it. Fooey. Don't kill me. Come on, ten life left. Alright, now it's time to get desperate. Um, get Rabadons here. It's the best shot. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think I'm toast here. I think I'm toast. Hopefully I can get to the top four. That'd be nice, but these guys are popping off pretty hard with all, like, <laughs> this guy's a bunch of my stuff, too. Which feels bad. All right. Do I think I'm going to win this? How much more do I need? I need a bunch more. I sell that. Six. Sell that. Thirty. Sell that. Sell that even. Will it be enough? Oh my god. That sucks. Two away. If I die this one, I lose. Frick, that sucks. Ah, this guy's pretty strong too. Come on, Joe. Big pop. There we go. Pop, pop. Don't be a hard loss here. Come on. This guy's like a level 3 Rakan. Are you kidding? I think I'm dead here. Oh, barely alive. Oh, my God. Still survive. Survive. I can put Graves back in. Thank God. 
Oh my goodness. This is so bad. I think I'm toast. I should start going back to, to making my food here. I got a V already. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to go back to making my tortillas. Because I think this is pretty much GG's. If I was a betting man, I would say that's pretty much GG's there. Put that back on my kitchen view. Alright, let me get to start heating up the gamal. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll look over my shoulder. Hopefully I can kill this guy, but I just want to survive long enough to have one more living life. There we go. Oh yeah, that's nice and soft. Oh my gosh. Mmm, that's delish. Alright, so now I'm going to make a bunch of balls. Ooh, I'm still alive. All right, hold on. I already got a jinx. Mm -mm. Really nothing I can do. Bye bye, I guess. Bye's gonna have a ton of those little, ton of those things on her. Those uh, whatever it's called, the uh, zappy zaps. Probably gonna sold that. Seacon. Why you get another one? Oops. You get all of those, Vi. Alright, Jinx, sure, I'll pick up a Jinx. I mean, I have nothing to do but roll at this point. And hope to goodness I get something I need. Echo, Cybernetic, I don't have anything close to that. Chrono, Vanguard. Eh. Eh. You could go cybernetic with Lucy in there, but whatever, I'm going space pirate. Get him, blap. Pop, pop. I think I'm dead here. GG's. How did I do? Fifth? Eh, that's, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Fifth is fine. Alright, now back to making tortillas. Um, where is it going? Cooking. So dough's rested nicely. It's delish. Um, ooh, strategy. You to improve your composition, you could have replaced that. You re-rolled them many times. Okay, fine. I know I re-rolled a lot. Strategy recommender. But it is what it is. Alright, turn this up. There we go. Boom. Mic on? Is my mic on? Yes, there it is. It's showing up. Okay, so I'm gonna break off little chunks of this. So make some tortillas. I'm gonna heat up the kemal behind me, my stove. All right, pop this over here. Get my rolling pin. All right, pop, pop. I've been watching a bunch of communities, so I always think about that whenever I say pop something over here. Pop, pop. All right. Um, and that one I want to hot heating up. All right. I know I have a rolling pin somewhere. Here it is. All right, let's do this, boys and girls. This is the fun part. All right, we're going to see if my tortillas or what, I, if I pulled it off. They're a little, I don't need this anymore. They're a little kind of crumbly still, which I think is just part of the nature of the beast with these guys. They're really soft though, which is which is nice. Um, flip it. It's a little ugly, but I always work out the uh, the look and feel a little later. 
All right, so let that rest up here. I roll out the other one. So I was a little small, so I want them a little bigger. I'm a little rounder, so I'm going to really roll out this little bit here. Let's see, they're kind of not really stitching together too well. I think this recipe was a little heavy on the shortening and lard. So maybe I'm um, maybe I'm less of a shortening guy, but they'll be tasty. They will be tasty. So this is coming out a little small too, a little on the small side. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna get a plate ready for these. When they're off the stove, I'm gonna get my pancharita so I can press them as is as is right and required. Ooh, I bet sesame oil would have been really good on those too. So then you get two towels. Alright, this is heating up, that's heating up. I want them kind of mid mid to high. Then I'm gonna get a towel that I can press them with. Bigger towel, big towel. So this guy, you kind of ball it up and you press it down when they start bubbling. At least that's what my grandma used to do, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, my abuelita. All right. Okay, man, these are really like super soft, but. It's good to know. It's good to know how, how this recipe kind of pans out. Yeah, good to know. Learning, learning, learning. I'm going to throw this on the on the quemal. I'm going to throw this one on the quemal and let them heat up while I roll out the other two. Yeah, they're almost frying. There's so much fat in there. Um, so that's good. Good to know. Not as I'm not as big of a fan as like the really high fat content ones. These are really high fat content which makes them almost less of a dough and almost more of a biscuit, which is fine. I mean, biscuits are good. Biscuits are delish, but um, the way I want to make them, probably a little less. So I'm just going to do two little chunks at a time, and then hopefully, please rise. Uh, also, if you guys want to see the, um, the uh, actual Kamal more than the rolling pin, let me know. Uh, and I can do that. Oops. little tortilla de harina. Damn, you know what? Not rising too well. That's so annoying. I don't know what to do, man. Still having trouble getting them to rise. Unbelievable. Maybe I should have put more baking powder in. They're not puffing. It's deeply bothersome to me. Not found a tortilla recipe that works yet, but these will still taste delish, so I'm not super sad about it. I just won't have the exact thing I want, which is okay. That's part of, part of cooking is experimentation, right? Half of cooking is experimentation. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna toss this um, over here. Can make them all. Cast iron gets super hot, so I'm gonna give that one a little bit of a breather. All right, you wanna try one, Fox? It's almost done. The first little batch. Where's my little planchar? Plancharita. They're not exactly how I want them, but <sighs> huh? Yeah, or ch curls making chicken, so. Well, were they making them for us or for them? I don't know. Me, no, no. That's yours. We'll find out. Mm. 
Mm. It's not bad. Different than my butter yes, but put some butter on them. That'll make you happy. These aren't exactly how I want them, but there's butter in the fridge, right? Oh, no. It's in there somewhere. That way I can help. <laughs> Let me get these. There you go. I think there's more in there, too, but we, we can get some more butter next time we go to the store. Ah! Can you help me? Oh, here, just hold this. Excellent. Help is good. Let's get rid of that cake. <laughs> yeah. I think it's time. It's been great. It's been over a year. We did the tradition. <laughs> I think it's the uh, <laughs> crossing into... Uh, uh, Keeping it for the sake of keeping it, perhaps. Mm. That's good, though. It's biscuity. Mm. I mean, yeah. It's different than the ones she used to make, but still good. Gonna keep learning, gonna figure it out. I do, but I don't think the proportions are right on it. Really? But it was, they were so stiff. They weren't soft tortillas. They weren't like pliable, you know? It wasn't right. And these are not right. And I'm deeply bothered, but it's okay. Thankfully, they're still pretty tasty. That just means, oops, that just means we will have to do another stream. And I will have to continue to hone, to hone in my recipe to make it what I want it. Yeah, this this one, this guy's thing is more like a biscuit dough than a tortilla, man. Which is fine, like biscuit dough's good, but and you do like you do cut in fat, like in normal tortillas, you you do cut in some fat and make it tender. Maybe I over kneaded it. I don't know though, but you're supposed to like knead it a good amount. I don't know. We'll see. They're still tasty. Ain't nothing wrong with hot hot flour and water, you know? Huh? Yeah. I can cut a little piece off and microwave it for you. But yeah, we can make quesadillas later. If, uh, if they don't have chow. Okay. That one should be done. Yeah, there's still a little just not right, but... Oops. Is my audio still working? Yeah. Okay. It is what it is. Far be it from me to be able to lock it in. Man, it's frustrating though. Well, I tried another recipe online. I don't agree with it. Good to know. Maybe I underneaded it? I don't know. There's not enough gluten. It's too crispy, I guess. I don't know. Huh? 
Right about the yeast? Yeah, but she never used yeast. I mean, she didn't have to, but maybe I need to because I'm a freaking noob. Or more baking powder or something. Yeah, they're so teary. I think this is the... Um, there's too much fat in this guy's recipe. It's just too, too much like a biscuit. But it's good to know. I'm forming my opinion. I'm going to keep... This is going to be my quest. It's to make... The, Maria's tortillas exactly, exactly as they were. Huh? No, not allowed. All right, there's one. Get another ball. Turn this down just a little bit. All right, butter's warmed up. If you want to try one, hot with butter. It's probably as good as anything's going to get. And let me know when you're done with work, Foxy, and we can head on over. Once It'll probably be another half hour on these, but should be pretty much done very soon. Close to done pretty soon. I don't agree. As much as I love that this guy used actual weight measurements versus all this other crap, I don't agree with his recipe. Huh? Oops. And just dip it in there, huh? <laughs> or you can uh, get a little brush and brush it on. Mm, you don't need it's unsalted, so. Oh, it's unsalted butter, so it won't taste as good. It's still not bad. Still not terrible. I'll get one of these ugly ones from the bottom here. Still pretty yum yum. Oh. Man, I don't know how she did it. Just perfect. But. Dang, man. Was a master, dude. You're done! Yay! Mm. I mean, these are just way... Way different than I think it's supposed to be, but it's all good. Huh? She has been. She's not been too misbehaved. The cat is what we're talking about. All right. Okay. We got two on there, right? Yeah. Wait. Let's go try to fold some air in at this phase. If they're gonna be like biscuits, then we'll get air in them like biscuits. <laughs> Folding them up. Just through lamination and no uh, 
No other fanciness. Yeah, the top one's the one I've been munching on, if you can tell. Yeah, not the way I like them, but... Man, it's just so hard to recreate something that's just like... I don't know how exactly... Like, there's so much that was, like, mental, you know, like, that they just remember. And I'm like, I try to research YouTube, I try to research all these things, but... At the end of the day, it's so hard to make it that way. And it was like, they're fine, but they're not, they're not the real deal. Satisfying, though. Hmm? They're very satisfying, though, I must say. What do you mean? They're very satisfying. How so? It's very tasty. Mm. Mm. They're pretty good. I mean, it's not a bad recipe. It's just not the recipe exactly the way I want it. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go on a quest. The sad thing is, Curl will know because he's had Maria's tortillas. And he'll be like, oh, these are good, but they're not the same. And I'll be like, I know. Why are you yelling at me? Just kidding, I don't think he'd say that. He'd probably just be like his mom. Nom nom nom. I think I should stretch them a little thinner. They're kind of still. I don't know if I've over kneaded them because they're so hard. They really are like. But I think the tenderness is coming from the from the fat. That's in there. I don't know. Mm. Pretty yummy though with butter. Hard to beat that. Not so healthy? Sure, not healthy at all. Huh? Gotta finish this big old block of dough. <laughs> I'm just gonna start. I'm just. I'm gonna pre-roll a bunch of them. Huh? Two, four, six, eight, and that'll be ten. All right. What's done, you said? What's, what was finished, you said? Oh, thank you. That's awesome, boo.
Maybe I didn't leave him to rest long enough. I mean, I only did an hour instead of two hours, but I don't think that makes a difference that much. I think it's just it's so much fat in this dough. I texted him and said we're going to be there on 5.30 probably. I only got 10 more to go, so this should be pretty fast. Excuse me. Only got 10 more of these puffy little stinkers to go. Huh? Of course. Glad you like them. So good. All right. I might leave like a couple of them until we get back from curls to see if resting makes a difference. So that might be my plan. Dropping off some stuff for folks. All right. All right, these are done. Hopefully not burnt. No. And I thought I did all the research. This wasn't exactly the way I wanted it, which is a little frustrating, but it is what it is. As thin as I can on these here. Okay. All right. I wish we had gotten like a video of her process, you know. Shut up, cat. Where is the cat desiring a spray? We'll oblige her. Alright, how many got left? Two, four, six, eight. So I'm gonna leave 
four for when I get back. So I'm going to do another four. Sprayer. And I'll try hotter. Learning, learning. A little flusterated, but it is what it is. It's not changing much. Turn it back lower. So it's like one to one third. So 500 that's about the same, man. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going wrong. Don't know where I'm going wrong. It's bothering me. Huh? Me neither, bubs. That's true, but they're not soft. They're not like flexible. If any of y'all on Twitch know where I might be going wrong, let me know. If you've made tortillas. Is it over kneading? Because they are pretty tough in terms of the gluten. But they have so much fat in them, they're very tender. I don't know. Maybe I'll read my cooking thing here. Do some research over the next couple of days. And by research, I mean eating all these tortillas. Man, that smell brings me back, though. Does this smell of, like, hot flour? It's just, like, summer days, man. Summer days in El Paso. Yeah, I don't know exactly. 
exactly. So I don't know if I'm needing too much or not enough. It's the thing with simple stuff. It's so easy to screw up. Because it's just like, so much is the method. Everything is the method when it's something that's simple, you know? All right. I'm going to leave the last four for when we get back. See if that affects anything. Probably head out in like two minutes, so. Or five, maybe. I think it's the, the rising agent that's wrong, though. I think I'm not using the right one or something. The leavener. Oh, this one's getting softer-ish. They're still just so... Such a very heavily tender. Mmm. What good. Mmm. Yeah, it has to be the, uh, whoops, I haven't flipped those. Has to be the leavener. Oops, I got a little burnt. A little turnt, a little burnt. Huh? It's my quest. I will make tortillas as good as Maria's at some point in my life. We'll make the ultimate tortilla. I don't know. Maybe I over needed it. I'm just going to like not need it all the next batch I make. Let's see what happens. I think even when I made it back in Guerrero... It was a little dense. I couldn't get them to be like super soft, super floppy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I've ever produced a batch that's been really what I want. Like, we used to be able to roll them up into like little, like, talk, like, little, like, round tacos. Just filled with butter, which goes to show how, how much we lived in the South at that time. Very good southern boy. Lots of butter. A very well behaved southern boy is fed on butter. Gosh, it does smell like home though, man. Crazy how the smell brings you back. Crazy, crazy. Getting old, guys and gals. Getting all old and sentimental. Is it slower cooking, maybe? Turn those way down. Maybe that'll help. Those are my last two for now. All right, folks. That is how you make tortillas. I'm going to give you a quick view of the actual finished batch. This is one of the tortillas. Very yummy. Very delicious. Mm. Very good. The texture softens up a little bit. Maybe I'm come. Maybe I'm heating them too hot. Cause softening up. I don't know. Hard to say. 
But anyways, delicious as always. I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Mm.